The golden age of Hollywood was undoubtedly a pivotal period in the history of filmmaking. However, despite the revolutions that occurred at the time, same-sex relationships were not normalized. Most people who were interested in pursuing careers in the entertainment industry preferred to keep their romantic orientations secret for reasons best known to them. Despite their levels of fame, most of them chose not to come out of the closet. This video will reveal some classical Hollywood movie stars who had secret affairs with fellow women. Greta Garbo, the renowned Swedish-born actress, was known for a lot of reasons in the 1920s and 1930s, but not many people suspected that she was secretly into women. Although she was extremely famous due to her incredible acting skills and attractive looks, the actress kept other aspects of her life private. While her colleagues were busy getting married and building their families, Greta Garbo made it abundantly clear that she wasn't interested in marriage or kids. Although marriage was not in her books, the silver screen icon was open to dating, and she did it all on her terms. After several years of gracing screens, she retired in her 30s and lived a mysterious life and private life. Even though Greta Garbo never publicly addressed her romantic orientation, there have been suspicions that the actress was secretly gay. Over the years, journalists like Diana McClellan have immersed themselves in research in order to uncover old Hollywood female stars who were secretly into women. Interestingly, Greta Garbo's name allegedly tops the list. Journalist McClellan's research revealed that the beautiful Greta Garbo was allegedly romantically linked to several female Hollywood stars. She also claimed that one of Greta's first romantic escapades was her alleged relationship with Marlene Dietrich. The actress was also said to have a thing for the then-popular actress Mimi Pollack. The revelations about Greta Garbo's romantic orientation certainly came as a shock to a lot of people who assumed that she was not romantically involved with women. Catherine Hepburn. The actress was the epitome of a strong, independent woman who could embody powerful roles in films. She supported women's reproductive rights and wore trousers before it was fashionable or acceptable for a woman to do so. For the ladies watching her films, her tenacity and feistiness formed a new portrait of the modern American woman, attractive, intelligent, forceful, and self-assured. Catherine Hepburn remains one of the most powerful actresses of her time. Even decades later, she is still remembered for her phenomenal roles and her fierce personality. While it is no secret that the actress's 60-year-old career was a huge success, it appears that she may have managed to keep her romantic preference a secret for decades. It wasn't until the later years of her career that people began to suspect that she was into women. Although she had a long-lasting relationship with her co-star Spencer Tracy, several people suspected that the relationship was a cover for their true romantic preferences. Through research, it was revealed that their relationship was merely friendship and nothing more. The screenwriter and gay rights activist Larry Kramer also made shocking revelations about their relationship. In his words, Hepburn and Spencer Tracy were both gay. They were publicly paired together by the studio. Everyone in Hollywood knows this is true, but of course, I haven't seen it printed anywhere. Neither Catherine nor Spencer ever publicly addressed their sexuality, but Catherine's intimate friendships with women, her wardrobe choices, and her film choices further fueled the suspicions about her romantic preferences. Over the years, research has linked the actress to socialite Laura Harding. The actress is also said to have been intimately involved with Nancy Hamilton. Dorothy Arzner, known for her unconventional style of dressing which included suits, Dorothy Arzner was one of the few Hollywood icons who was not afraid to be different in the industry. Interestingly, she was the only female director during the golden age of Hollywood's studio system, and she was well known for her creative works. Dorothy Arzner was applauded and honored all through her lifetime, and she was undoubtedly a role model to female filmmakers. Like other female Hollywood stars, she never publicly addressed her romantic preferences. But most people suspected that she was interested in women. It was rumored that she was allegedly romantically involved with Catherine Hepburn and Joan Crawford. Joan Crawford She is one of the actresses who contributed immensely to the golden age of Hollywood. The actress, who was famous for her roles in Mildred Pierce and Baby Jane, was admired by several people due to her impeccable acting skills. No part of her work life was hidden from the public eye, but her personal life was certainly not so public. 
On the outside, it seemed like the actress was only interested in men because she was married to men four times throughout her life. However, it seems like there was more to the actress's love life. Over the years, research has pointed to the fact that the actress was bisexual. Like most of her female co-stars, Joan Crawford never publicly admitted that she was also into women. Everything about her life painted a picture of a woman who was solely into men, and no one outside her circle would have guessed that the actress was secretly involved with women. Interestingly, her adopted daughter later cleared the air about her mother's romantic preferences when she openly admitted that her mother was secretly involved with women. In her words, I understand that of course I was very young, but I understand that in those days people didn't come out of the closet. The actress is also said to have allegedly been involved in romantic relationships with then-popular stars like Marilyn Monroe, Greta Garbo, and Barbara Stanwyck. Tallulah Bankhead Unlike several other silver-screen actresses who avoided conversations about their alleged relationships with women, Tallulah Bankhead was quite the opposite. She was known as the life of the party, and she never missed an opportunity to experience things that she considered fun. On several occasions, the actress openly spoke about her romantic preferences directly or indirectly. The actress would often introduce herself in soirees by saying, I'm lesbian, what do you do? This was obviously a cunning retort to a magazine called Broadway Brevities that had inelegantly mentioned the actress's supposed same-gender relationships in an article. However, in between her comments laid a truth that she was bold enough to admit. Interestingly, Tallulah Bankhead never said that she was not gay. In fact, she seemed like the kind of person who was open to exploring the area of romance. There is a plethora of information that feeds the suspicion that the actress had secret affairs with women and one of her alleged ex-lovers, Patsy Kelly openly spoke about the nature of her relationship with Tallulah Bankhead. Patsy Kelly revealed to the author, Bose Hadley, that she was allegedly romantically involved with Tallulah Bankhead for years. She claimed that theirs was an on-and-off relationship that lasted for a good number of years. In her words, it was on and off and mostly it depended on Tallulah's mood. The actress was also said to have shared some private moments with Greta Garbo, Hope Williams, Barbara Stanwyck, and Mercedes Diacosta. Barbara Stanwyck. The screen legend rose to the top as a result of her tenacity and determination to succeed. She had always wanted to be in the entertainment industry right from a young age, and she grabbed every opportunity she got to rise to the top. While some people remember her as the audacious dancer and chorus girl who charmed her way into the hearts of men and even women, others remember her as a phenomenal actress. But of all the details about the actress's life, people were more eager to know about her love life. Her relationships suggested that she was into men, but some of her actions and the rumors that were circulating about her pointed to the fact that she may have been gay. It was also rumored that her unions to Robert Taylor and Frank Fay were allegedly lavender marriages targeted at hiding the secret about her romantic preferences. However, despite the rumors and findings about the actress's romantic escapades, she never publicly addressed the rumors. Over the years, journalists and biographers have dug into the actress's life in order to uncover evidence about her supposed secret love life. The actress is widely believed to be Hollywood's largest closeted lesbian, according to biographer Axel Madsen. She was also said to have been allegedly romantically involved with the actress Tallulah Bankhead. Even though Barbara Stanwyck never revealed the truth about her romantic preference, she is one of the old Hollywood actresses who is now seen as an icon in the gay community. Why do you think these old Hollywood stars chose to remain in the closet? Let us know in the comment section and don't miss out the next video.